never been afraid of the highest heights Or afraid of flying I have never been afraid of the wildest fights Not afraid of dying But now I'm off this ride Cause you're scaring me And I don't like Hello everyone, I was waiting for some parts to finish version 2 of my big 600 watts boombox. So I made small one instead. I used speakers and small subwoofer from old gaming laptop. They are pretty loud and clear. They are already mounted in an enclosure, so it is not a problem if my box is not airtight. I have some other speakers laying around, like this from TV, so maybe in next project. To keep it as simple as possible, I will use only one cell battery. That way I can use this charge circuit with USB-C connector. This one is from old cell phone. I could also use flat or round from notebook or this big one from a tablet. With this much capacity, it could also work as power bank. Anyway, we have battery connected to protection and charging circuit. Then it is going through power to step up converter where we bump up the voltage from 4 to 12 volts, which amplifier needs for maximum power. It can do 2 times 15 watts which is plenty. I could use less powerful one, but this one I have in my drawer. I could use amp with integrated Bluetooth receiver, but I like when Boombox can play just by its own, so I used classic 5-in-1 MP3 module. It is connected to step up, so it is getting same 12 volts as amplifier. Some models are only for 5 volts. They don't have this linear regulator, so be aware and don't fry it. This one is okay for up to 30 volts. Audio output from MP3 module is going straight to amplifier input. There are two similar connectors on the MP3 module, so if it's not working, try the other one. I removed all the connectors to save space. Now just connect speakers to the amp and it should play. I wanted to design some box, so I modeled all components, put them together as compact as possible. Finally, I have my own 3D printer, so I can print it. It's first version, so there could be some improvements, like bigger holes for speakers and some sort of grill for protection. Box is from two pieces screwed together. I printed it almost without supports, but surface on some panels is bad, so next one I will use them everywhere. The problem of MP3 module is that it always starts at maximum volume, so I will add a potentiometer to control it. I will connect it between module out and amplifier in. And this will be version 2. I use three batteries in series, so it will go to power switch and straight to amplifier and MP3 module. Here you can see the volume knob. For charging I will reuse USB-C circuit and step up converter. At first I will not use any BMS and we'll see how it works. The case will be a bit bigger to fit three batteries. Also, like I said, grills for speakers and better fitment everywhere. That is all, see you next time.